Hi ho! Welcome to the CRO Rodeo. <laughs> We're gonna leave this in because it was an amazing intro, and I'm amazing at my job. Yusha, how you, how you doing, man? I'm being amazing. Yet another episode of the CRO Rodeo, where we take a look at brands, what they're look, what they're doing across their funnel, from their ads, their tech stack, and their site, break it down, and then provide insights and advice that's actually actionable um, to make more money at the end of the day. That's what we're here for. We're here to help people make more money. And today we are going to be looking at cookanyday.com. Anyday is a, um, a cooking utensil company. They make like pots and pans is what they do. Um, I don't know why I framed it that way, but um, you should, have you seen this brand before? Have you, do you know about this? I have, I have. I think I've seen like YouTube reviews of it, uh, but I have not used it. Probably. So the reason why I know about it is because if you scroll down, you'll see that David Chang is this, is, this is one of his brands. And I found out about this because I was watching him make like quick meals at home. Like he was like making salmon for his kids uh-huh. and he would just microwave stuff and he would use these any day, um, this any day cookware. Mm-hmm. And people were like losing their minds in the TikTok comments about like, you can't have metal in the microwave. It's impossible. What are you doing? And then he was like, no, 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 you can. It actually has to be like certain shape, I think, is like mm-hmm. the the big thing. And and that's what's so c- cool about like any of it. They have like metal lids, but it's like completely microwavable. You can use it anywhere. Really versatile stuff. So really neat products, um, really cool content that they have driving to it. I think a lot of the companies that we look at, their most of their content or their traffic comes from paid. Yeah. And this is probably one of those brands that has a really good balance between paid and organic. Mm-hmm. So uh, we're going to start, as we always do, with a quick look at their tech stack. They've got Clavier running. Who doesn't? Um, I guess people on Sunlane. Um, accessibility hot jar for that for those heat maps attentive for for text messages tolstoy is really cool it's like video it's like almost like ugc style like video content that's mm-hmm. like on the home page yeah. or on your website um elevar intelligems like some really great stuff uh in this tech stack north beam as you should always good to have an attribution software in here um junip for reviews trying to see if there's anything really interesting that i should pull out pretty standard stack i mean i think uh pretty impressive stuff Let's flip over to their ads really quickly. Trusty Facebook ad library. Some statics, good stuff. The thing that I will will call out, they have so many videos of David Chang just cranking. And it's just like recipe content. Hot take recipe content. I love this. Um, I don't know if you were able to hear the audio on that, but what I thought was interesting about those specific videos is if you look at his like TikTok organic content, it's just him making recipes, him just cooking. Mm -hmm. A lot of times it's like him cooking for his kids, but those ads were very direct response focused. It's like, Mm -hmm. Hey, here, I mean, there was like, the first one was about mashed potatoes. Yeah. And so it's a bit of content commerce there. But that second one was just like, Hey, here's why this product rocks. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really cool. Obviously we're seeing a lot of like direct response, sale related stuff. Um, The unboxing experience. Anything standing out to you while we scroll? Is there any videos not of David Chang here? Like, is there any like UGCs? Let's filter by media type. I really like their colorways, by the way. Yeah, it's it's very it's actually quite nice. Let's see what this one's about. Nope, that's David Chang. <laughs> they almost had us. Also, David Chang. <laughs> Hold on, here's about the microwave. I feel like there is some value in having more UGC here, at least the test. Yeah. I, I don't consider myself a great chef sure. like David Chang. And so I think being able to resonate with that. Yeah. Um, there's an aspect of like, you know, someone as great as David Chang using using this product, but also I think just the everyday person yep. using the product, definitely something interesting to test. And they probably have a lot of content on this already yeah. somewhere. I'm going to reference a competitor, which may be a faux pas, but I do think that like one of the things that HexCloud does, because they have a lot of celebrities mm-hmm. that that use their yeah. um, cookware as well. Gordon Ramsay being mm-hmm. like the biggest name there. Yeah. But um, one of the things I've seen Connor, their, their head of marketing, do mm-hmm. quite often is that they will have videos of multiple chefs, mm-hmm. regular home cooks, yeah. all the way to like regular home cooks. You're like 
food influencers, like the cooking influencers, and yeah. then like the, your celebrity chefs. Yeah. Um, and they, they, you know, they create these like master cuts mm-hmm. where they have all of these mixed in. Yeah. And it gives it, you're, I, I, I think you do make a great point. Like it, it does bring a sense of like relatability. I'm actually much more inclined to buy in any day because I watched his organic content yeah. like, on how easy it was to use. And I'm like, oh, I can actually do that. Yeah. But sometimes you need someone else to say the message mm-hmm. for it to really resonate. Yeah. And I think they can probably expand their funnel um, when it's not just David Chang. Because, like, not everybody in the world knows about David Chang. He's very yeah. famous. Don't get me wrong. But I, I think that's a that's a great call out from, yeah. just from looking at the ads. Yeah. Even, like, different settings, right? Like, yeah. the, the kitchen background's like, super nice. And I'm, yep. I'm usually, like, getting off work and trying to cook something in my instant pot. Yep. And so, like, even the setting, like, the the... That it's if it's a house or an apartment, like mm-hmm. all of that stuff, I feel like, especially with people having different sized kitchens and stuff like that, yep. just even testing out different settings, different people, um, different types of food, different yep. cuisines, um, and every dimension and axis of that. So, uh, so we're on the homepage right now. Um, I'm going to flip over to mobile like we always do, and we will look at it. Oh, we'll do the iPhone 12 Pro. That's a reasonable sign, uh, reasonable phone size. Off the rip, pretty good hero above the fold. I would make this button full width. Um, I like the GIF. Um, I think they could use it. I, w- I, I personally would use a different GIF. Like you're just like, you're not actually seeing the cooking piece done. Yeah. I think. This also looks like a pot to me. Yeah. Someone's probably going to yaw at me because they're going to be like, this ain't a pot, but... I think that that jumps out. I think the biggest thing that jumps out on this page is the dishes that do it all actually means nothing to me. Mm -hmm. I would flip it. I would like the simplest thing Mm -hmm. to test that I think would have a meaningful impact and conversion rate is having the headline be all in cookware designed to save you time in the kitchen or actually like all in cookware that can, you know, some some form of like mashing the do it all in the. What is the biggest value prop of this product? It's like effectively just like metal plates. I you think can microwave, right? Like, hold I, on. I, so go up. Yeah. Glass cookware designed to revolutionize how you microwave. That's the headline. Yes. It's like microwavable glass cookware or something. Which is like actually pretty. I mean, that's like a, it's a, a material change in how you like, cook. Qu- like quality, like yeah. quality microwavable cookware or yeah. something. Yeah. Right. Um, so, I mean, it's like kind of ideating off the rip, mm-hmm. off the dome. Like making the copy, not so much like, okay, you like become like a world-class chef yeah. without, with just your microwave or yeah. like something or like reducing the anxiety of cooking by just having to rely on your microwave and like yeah. being able to like do more without having to like, oh, I need to get my fancy expensive pans out. Yeah. I'm going to do all this like crazy, like, no, you can actually just do it in the microwave. And this is the tool that I'll allow you to like. Can we go old. back to the ads, actually? I'm actually yeah. curious because I assume a large percentage of your traffic comes from yeah. paid. Can we look at, like, where these pages go? So yeah. what was the what was the copy on the ad? Sure. That, this was case? this one in particular was is a review. It was like a Today Show. Like, um, but I know there's like... Any Day will revolutionize how people use the microwave. First okay. was a slow cooker, then the air fryer, then came Any Day. Right here. Revolutionizing how people use their microwave to cook... Quick restaurant worthy dishes. Yeah, that's, that's the headline. Line. Yeah, and so what does the landing page say? So this is uh, like a looks like it's a le- like a legit right. landing page and not their homepage. So it's like a faux homepage. That they okay, have. but the, but the header is go up. Make, make microwave, microwave magic. magic. Okay, that's not clear to me. Unlock your kitchen superpower with glass microwave cookware. I think the tagline should be the the first line should be whatever was in the ad. The yeah, revolutionize. I mean, like. Use your microwave to cook restaurant worthy, like, yeah, like restaurant worthy dishes with your microwave. Yeah. Um, and I think they need to, if you go back, I guess it's kind of like a full homepage, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is a full homepage just for the, the folks at home mm-hmm. that may not know a full homepage is a page is a landing page that looks like your homepage from a structure perspective, but the copy is actually condensed to, um, highlight a specific offer or value prop. Um, and it's usually driving to a specific, um, like either single product or a single collection versus like letting people shop the entire catalog off the rip. Can you click on a few other ads? I'm actually curious whether yeah. a lot of them link to the same page or this is a new product. I mean, this goes to the same, same product one. looks like. 
Let's go just random scroll. This goes to the collection page. Mm -hmm. And then just scrolling down. This one goes back to that hero. Okay. Like, uh, this is actually their homepage. Okay. I think the issue here in my mind is that these, I think the ads are relatively good. I think having David Chang in the ads are relative, is relatively good. I think there's good messaging in the ads. I think the hierarchy of information might need to change, but and it has good structure. Mm -hmm. But I think when I land on a page like this, it is not even clear to me what is being sold. Yeah. Again, I, this yeah. GIF this GIF actually looks like a pot, but I, I've already said that. Um, on the other page, even I think there was like a bunch of uh, plates and dishes there. I, I like the price was not clear to me. Right. The I think the only memorable thing really is the I really like the the design of the site. I really like the colors. This is like an aesthetic brand. Yeah. I know I'm not you know getting something cheap. Right. But it, if you you know pulled me off the street and you were like, hey, like what is the pricing? What are you getting? You know, like what I mean, is the just take the pricing like, out of the matter. It's yeah. just like, what are you getting? Yeah, like what am I actually buying Fair. here? Yeah, is probably is the number one question to answer. Or like, how does this like fit into my life? Right? Like, yeah. how do I use this? Right. Um, I think like that there's some plates and dishes on the table. It's not right. not super clear. I know the reviews for this product are amazing because I looked on Amazon and yeah. people love it. Um, but I think that's not clear to me as a first time buyer. And right. I, I assume that is why a lot of like the conversion may not be as high as uh, they would hope. This image right here, the like where it's like in the microwave, if this yeah. was a gift, like if you were to like put stuff into the microwave mm -hmm. and then it's out and then you like you open it and it's, you know, plated beautifully. It's like yeah. restaurant quality. Like that actually tells a much more compelling story mm -hmm. than just opening to the the shrimp yeah right? i will say every single if you scroll back down in those four things every single one of those taglines fast hands-off cooking healthiest way to cook steam trap lid like each of those is a better tagline than make microwave magic yeah make because make microwave one. magic is is is, is an idealistic statement it, it doesn't yeah. it doesn't bring people you know back to earth um and i think that's that's partially the issue and i think just showing how people how people use the product and making yeah. it relatable yeah i mean i i think like from um, you know from a page structure perspective i actually really like how this is laid out um i'm going to go back to this tab, one of these tabs that i have open all fifteen thousand tabs that i have open um i i like I like this like big ass scene in, mm -hmm. I would just put the logos here and I would actually push this content down. Yeah. Cause these are like almost like review content. I will say also that, um, I actually think that if they just had a GIF of, um, someone using the product yeah. or like a short video or something where it's like super clear what the value prop of this thing is. Yeah. Um, maybe it's taking it out of the microwave and then having like, you know, make your dinner in five minutes or whatever. Um, someone there's probably going to kill me for saying that. Uh, I think, Video and images say a thousand words. Yeah. And I don't even think at that point you even need the reviews. You just need the logos there. And that's and something further right down there. the page. Yeah. So going on, I mean, I love this section. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, this should be right below the hero. Really. Yeah. I think this is great. It goes to shop all. This but, is like what sells me. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I get it. Yep. Yeah. But I shouldn't have had to scroll down to, to know that. Yep. Yeah. Um, and, and on mobile, most people will not scroll down. They will just leave. Right. 60% of people, we've said it before, like 60% of people yeah. don't do anything other than just look at the hero. This is this is cool. This is actually like an interesting like UGC play as well. Yeah. Is like having a, I'm sure there's some content they can find or make of someone making asparagus in two minutes. Yeah. Like I'd love that. Yeah. Like hands off rice 22 minutes, crispy bacon in five minutes. Like I want that. Yeah. Having, having a video of someone taking bacon out of the microwave Linking that to a page yeah. with bacon on it, mm -hmm. um, I'd probably buy that. Yeah, like I think this is this is much needed content. Obviously, mm -hmm. it's like celebrity owned, celebrity yeah. driven brand. I will say most people I think don't necessarily know who David Chang is just on the street, um, and so even having some social proof of like who David Chang is, right? I, I assume when they first launched the product, they were targeting people who probably knew who David Chang was, right? Like. I know David Chang because I grew up in New York and I heard David Chang right. everywhere. But I think maybe 
in the rest of the country or rest of the world, like that might not be as obvious. So right. having some sort of social proof around David Chang, um, I think even like Gordon Ramsay, like I think when Hex clad, if you just yeah. Gordon Ramsay, like they kind of like have a little subtext of like who Gordon Ramsay yeah. is, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. It, it may seem obvious to folks who yeah. like know who David Chang is, but I, I, you know, to your point, I think most people, you should always assume that most people don't. Yeah. So if this was my brand mm-hmm. and you just saw my face on there and you're mm-hmm. like, why is this guy telling me about crispy bacon in five yeah. minutes? Like, what does he know about bacon? I yeah. actually know quite a bit about bacon because I love bacon, but that's beside the point. It's just like the context needs to be translated mm-hmm. to people. Yep. Um, and you have to give the obvious answers. It's always helpful to give the obvious answers. The thing that I would say is all the time. You have to repeat yourself all the time. Um, The thing that I always say is like, try to build for the extremes. It's going to be people that are going to read every single section, every piece of copy and also have a ton more context. And you have people who are just going to scroll through. And in order for you to grow your business, you want to capture the attention and the desire of the people that are just going to scroll through. That's how you expand your TAM. This, what makes any day special way further up the page. It should not be this far down. Um, like dishes, dishes and cookware effectively a commoditized product in many ways. Right. And yeah. so at least to the average consumer. Yeah. And so being very clear about, because I see ads on Instagram all the time about different, you know, kit cookware brands. Right. And there is nothing that differentiates them besides the color and, you know, sometimes, you know, like the price or the material or whatever. Right. And so being extremely clear about what makes this product special, and it is actually very unique. Yeah. And what people are able to do with it, like the time they save, the quality of food that they cook, that needs to be like literally the first thing on the page. Yeah, um, totally agree. Should we look at the product page? Yeah, I mean, I, I will have to say like really quickly, this section and this section, this is fucking awesome. Sorry. Wait, they should have that in the ad. It's just the ad, <laughs> and then this should just be straight up like hero section, and then yeah. it just should go here. This yeah. is the kind that needs to be further up the page. This is like the perfect ad. Yeah. They should literally make a repl landing page with this section at the top. Mm. And I, I'm pretty sure their conversion rate will maybe not double, but I think, go bounce rate, I, I think their bounce rate would significantly improve. Yeah. I, I suspect that if I we had access to their GA, their bounce rate is quite high on these yeah. ads. Um, and then, th- I mean, like... Product and use, like this is cool. I like this kind of content. They should have ads for every single one of those yeah. UGCs or whatever these are, recipes. recipes. I mean, this is, it's beautiful imagery. It's lovely content. Um, it's like, and they like made, you're they telling made. me this is made in a microwave, like. Yeah, like cap, bro, um, to use the language of, of the kids. Of the people. Of the people. All right, let's go look at a product page. Um, let's go shop the dishes. It's probably going to take me to a collection page. Um, and it's just like how many. The thing that always gets me about cookware is that they, understandably so, are always trying to sell you on like the entire set. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a lot easier to get people hooked on the hero product first, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? So what I would, from a merchandising perspective, rather than going to like the best seller, I would just go to like the main product. Maybe it's like- It's also a much bigger commitment to buy these products. And so I think if the UGC or whatever, if having the having the ad talk about a specific use case and selling the product that fits that specific use case. Yeah. And then over time, once they convert, actually re-engaging them and being like, hey, complete the set. Mm-hmm. I think that actually from a macroeconomic point of view actually looks a lot better. Yeah. Um, this is the product page. One of the things I'll call out, this Tolstoy video slid out as soon as I got on the page. I think there should, at the very least, be a longer delay. More so, it should pop out when people start to scroll. The only reason being, as soon as it came out, it covered up the price. And so, like, now you're going to make me work to figure out, like, what what it costs. And, mm-hmm. and it's not the most ideal experience. Um, I wonder if they have, like, that, like, cool graphic. Yeah, they don't have that one one particular graphic that was... Uh, cool on that the page we looked at that mm-hmm. had all the product benefits on yeah. it like that should be the hero product of what's up with people having like the most boring picture as their first product uh, you know I think, <laughs> I think it's like when they upload it to shopify or something yeah and, and yeah. i think it's like okay and, and no fault of anybody most people don't realize that like they can't yeah. use that real estate for something completely yeah. else you know what i would do if i would not only have the image that we saw before mm-hmm. where it has like the benefits and like the yeah. value prop in the image itself but I would throw on the star ratings mm-hmm. in the image mm-hmm. 
and um, like loved by you know however yeah. many customers they have. I think we have cooks. the logos, the reviews, yeah. some some of the benefits in this picture. It's like yeah. a five dollar thing they can get on Upwork yeah. to be edited across all of their. Yeah, or, or or fifteen minutes in Canva. Yeah, and then it just saves so much space here. Yeah, and then I think you can have. I mean, you can save space on a description as well. I think there's really good benefits here, right? Microwaveable safe, oven safe, freezer safe. Those can all be part of the picture. Yep, that pulls everything up from a content point of view. Yep. And one of the other things that I will say is, I think if you do that, you actually have the ability to move the add to cart CTA right below the swatch. And then you could have like the deeper, like the longer copy mm -hmm. below yeah. that because yeah. you're not trying to like, there's no sizes that you have to like, I mean, obviously they have product sizes, but like you're not trying yeah. to like fit someone like you are, you would with like clothing, for right. example. Um, well, you're just, inviting them to scroll down and yeah. learn more about the product. Yeah. And then they get to the UGCs, they see all the recipes. Right. Um, um, this I think they need some UGCs here. Yeah. I think they need a little bit more. Yeah, I would have this further up before you get to the set yeah. because like what's included, you're you're looking at just a single product. Yeah. And obviously this is like something that's ideal for, they, they probably have this baked into their product page template. Mm -hmm. um, so you're, you're, you're seeing everything. Yeah. I would have this further up the page, this further up the page before I show the, the whole set. And then rather than saying what's included, I would have a CTA that says like, get the whole set. Yeah. Um, and have that add to cart. Yeah. Uh, as a, and I think that'd be a more efficient way to merchandise. Mm -hmm. I feel I, I I feel really strongly about this. I think this should be like one of the lowest, like the most bottom most thing. Yeah. Because you want people to consume that content. You mm -hmm. want people to engage and get that product. If they're on the product, like yeah. try to buy, get them to buy that product. Yeah. Before they start cross shopping. I, I do feel like there's like a like a longer term like long term play kind of thing where you want people to get that initial product first. Yeah. See the value of that product. Yeah. And then re-engage them. And at that point, you already have the emails. You already have the purchase history. And then yep. you can, you know, email them and be like, hey, complete the set or whatever. Yep. And then you're actually much more likely to upsell people on higher cost items. Yeah. Let's see what happens when you add the cart. Um, frequently bought together. I mean, they have a slide out cart with like, you know, build mm -hmm. your, your basket up to yeah. get free shipping. They should have 100% try to upsell you into the whole set mm -hmm. with like a discount. Yeah. Here. This is like the best piece of real estate to do that. And it's not being done. Yeah. I would also argue maybe even shipping it for free. Just out of, the, yeah. out of the gate. Yeah. Um, because you really want people to like, I'm way more likely to complete the set once I actually have something. Yeah. And I really like it because it's going to end up, you know, in the sink dirty. And I'm going to be like, all right, shit, I need another one. Sure. Right. That could also be an option to test out is like maybe for some items, you just do free shipping. Yeah. Um, and then really measure the lifetime value over a series of a few months rather yep. than that specific order. Something to test there. With with any day. So a lot of times when we do these Sierra rodeos, we are met with businesses, with, with brands that have these stores that do not yet have the content mm -hmm. they need to improve yeah. their conversion rate. And I think it's just moving the Lego blocks around. Yeah. Like they have, they have all the content. They that have they all need. the content. Yeah. It's just rearranging it in a way that gives people the right context, gets them interested, like the right context by that. I mean, like, you know, what, like what the heck you're actually getting mm -hmm. and then why you should get it. Mm -hmm. And, um, and then like, you know, doing the us versus them. And again, like I know just from looking at the navigation and from all, all the things that they've tried to push on all the pages that we've looked at thus far, mm -hmm. they want to get people into the set, but it's a much easier sale to close them on one, yeah. especially when it's a completely novel product that they may not. I'm not in the market for pots and pans much at all unless I move. Yeah, I would actually find a lot of value in a product like this and I would probably cook more if I had something like this, mm -hmm. but it took me a long time to get to the point of like, Oh, wow, this makes sense. And I see how it fits in my life. Yeah. So like moving that content further up the page in in the hero section, I think is like the biggest win. Yeah. Um, you know, before it's, we could ramble a lot about this and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to spend this entirely rambling about it. But if you could do one landing page for any day, you're the CEO of, uh, of any day, you're going to build one landing page that, you know, that's going to be your big bet. What's on that landing page? I would really test out some sort of even starting outside of the landing page, right? Like starting out with some sort of UGC around someone actually using the product. Mm. Uh, maybe not a professional chef, but someone who's like an everyday person using yeah. the product. Um, that leads to a page where it's very obvious what the product is, what the benefits are, 
paying someone Upwork to update the product imagery yeah. and just selling them on that. I'm sure there is one fairly low cost item that sells really well if you yeah. look at their order history. Um, and just having a long form landing page where you have that product yeah. and basically on that on the existing product page, kind of flipping the order of everything yeah. and moving all the benefits up. The headline should be extremely clear. It should just be like, make asparagus in two minutes or whatever, like make bacon in five minutes. Um, and in your microwave, in your microwave or like cook your dinner in five minutes or something like very yeah. direct. Yeah. Um, and have, having that also in the UGC and the ad and just right. weaving that complete story. Right. Um, I think the conversion will be really high, mm-hmm. even on first time visits. Um, and then let that bake for a few weeks, re-engage those customers mm-hmm. and sell them on the, the rest of the set, the, the rest of the set. Yeah. A lot of people won't buy it. A lot of people will take the overall lifetime value over a course of three to four months. And I bet that that will work out pretty well. Yeah. No notes, man. That's exactly what I would do as well. I think this company is blessed with the content that they have. And they already just, have everything. They yeah. Have. It's just a, it's, yeah. it's a, it's a, it's a function of shuffling it around yeah. and m- making sure it's incredibly clear on what the product is and why you should buy it today or how it's going to like materially impact your mm-hmm. life today. Yep. Um, cool, man. This is great. This is a, uh, this, this one felt like a, a quick hitter, but I think we, we covered quite a bit of ground. Nice. Um, awesome. Well, I hope the end day team gets a lot of value out of this. Um, and if they don't, we're going to run it back until they do. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions, whether you're part of the end day team or you're also in the cookware space, feel free to hit us up. We are more than happy to help you guide, uh, or more than happy to guide you to higher conversion rates and ultimately more money. So thank you again for watching Sierra Rodeo and we shall see you on the next episode.